All right, hey YouTube, I wanted to update on my last Mars cycle and let you guys know what's um, happening from here on out and just a little update on what's been going on. So my last cycle, my period came last week, Tuesday at midnight and so um, it was a BFN. It came last week, Tuesday the 29th and so my cycle was 30 30 days even and I ovulated CD 17 and it really extended my luteal phase because I think my luteal phase was 13 to 14 days so I really like Vamara but I think we need to get more aggressive so on the 30th or the 31st yeah, 30th and 31st, I called the RE's office that's up the street. I've already been to their facilities before. And we are going to get my husband's semen analyzed and and analyzed. And then we're going to um, uh, do IUI with Famara. So i um, just really excited about that. Um, we're going to move forward, be more aggressive. I just don't think that timed intercourse is going to be it for us. Although, that's what I would prefer. I think, you know, most women battling infertility would prefer the um, time intercourse to be the thing that they need. Just, you know, maybe just the Femara. Maybe, you know, it's not so advanced and you're, it's more intimate, I guess. <sighs> but I have to get over the fact that, you know, we need extra help trying to conceive. And it's actually pretty cheap for the, um... IUI, it's 1200 and most of that, like half of that, I believe, is um, just ultrasounds and monitoring, because I don't know what's really happening, but because I ovulated CD17, and I got my period, like, 13 or 14 days later, I'm having normal cycles, I'm just not getting pregnant, so... Yay. I mean that's progress. That's what the that's what the nurse was telling me. Um, the RE nurse was telling me that you know sometimes with the the man he has issues too and combined together you know we just need to move forward and get a little bit more aggressive. So once we get the semen analysis, then we'll go for the um, speak with the doctor. It's a man I think I'll be seeing now. I'm not really comfortable with that, but it's fine. I mean, as long as I get pregnant, I really don't. Yeah, let's just do it. And um, so far, what I've been doing lately really is going to school. I, I love college. I love the course that I'm taking. It's psychology. Um, I'm taking psychology lifespan so we're learning about the human life from um, from birth to from birth to um, death yeah from the womb to the tomb there we go and right now we're learning about BF Skinner Floyd Eric Erickson and you know different theorists and I'm just like I love this I mean if I um, had kids, maybe I wouldn't be able to enjoy going to school so much and, you know, learning new stuff and taking it easy. But, you know, just everything happens for a reason. So I'm loving my class and I'm happy that we're uh, moving forward with the trying to conceive. And we won't start that, like the IUI and Fomara probably until after April. I'm not really, well, I don't really want to say this, but I'm not really too keen on having a child born, like, after, like, October. <laughs> I really like the beginning of the year babies like January, February, March. So it kind of works out for us. And today is Super Bowl Sunday. I'm home alone. Um, my husband's off. Um, he is off. Football party, whatever. And so I just decided to update. I'm uh, just enjoying school, waiting for the IUI, waiting for the semen analysis, waiting. Um, and it was a BFN for my cycle number two. So at this point, um, we're just taking a break and. I'll update if anything else happens.